<laughs> How are you all doing? Ralph here, Ralph Customs. Back on the Triumph, working on the disc. See what we can do. So the issue we have is there ain't enough room down in the forks. If you've been following this project, I've uh, drawn attention to it before. And we need to fit a fucking disc, don't we? So my plan is to machine this face down, machine this down, so we've got more room, more wiggle room. Then we're gonna use a thinner disc than standard. And we're gonna mount it off an aluminium mounting plate but it's going to fit on the back edge so it's going to be like inboard so it's going to sit close to the spokes i've got a little skavana disc and caliper oh, there you go and uh, several blocks of aluminium aluminium to make it out of what i'm just doing is setting my rotary table square in the mill now tom griffin showed this technique um what he's got my my rotary table's got a morse two taper throat it's got an hole in the top morse two taper so i've got uh, an adapter that's morse two taper and it fits in the collet look it's just poking out there and we just square it up get it about right work our way in get everything how we want it yep yeah. then we tighten it down lock off these bob's your jolly old so, Morse taper adapter in the throat of your rotary table that's got a straight shank that you can fit in your collet or some other fitting that you can get in your quill, you know. And then you just ease it in and the further it goes in, the more you line it up until it snugs up. Then you nip the bolts down, tighten your table and the jobs are so good. So now what I'm doing, I've got a bit of um, 12 or 14 that Yanks call it. We call it uh, E1, EN1A leaded he's steel but it's free machining and i'm going to turn a piece down that fits inside the wheel bearing and inside a collet the biggest collet i've got is 20 mil the old 32 and it goes up to 20 mil so i'm going to turn 20 mil shank on this bit of 25 mil bar cut it off and i'm going to use that to align the wheel on the table on the rotary table yeah if that makes sense anyway bit of cutting i did make a start without you and then thought, why not film it, you know? People seem to like seeing me do this shit, so why not? It should be 21 mil now. I'll do this cut and then I'll have a check. Just to make sure. There she blows, Captain. There she fucking blows. Yep. Quite warm. And we should be on 21 and we're on 21 so we need another mill off uh, and we'll be golden which is there on the DRO uh, and I'll finish that off camera you've seen me turning off you know and I'll pop that off make a little chunk. so next up we need to make a fixture plate um, to fix the wheel to the rotary table because my rotary table is just just fucking big enough and i've got no means of bolting it down unfortunately this whole pattern which i thought i could use i can't because there's eight holes and there's only three slots in my uh, rotary table so eight into three don't go so i can't directly use them what i can use is a uh, make a spacer out of a billet of alley um and that's what i'm gonna do so i've marked the three holes where it'll bolt to the table and I've marked four of the eight holes where it bolts to the wheel. 
I might put it in the lathe and spin the centre out so that this sits down into it um, and that should get me on it. So I'm just going to drill these out, put it in the pillar drill, drill these out to a 10mm clearance and go from there. Just a quick shot of me um, tapping the holes that are going to bolt the wheel to the fixture plate. Um, I've used two of the mounting holes to bolt it to my pillar drill base, look, to the table on my pillar drill and that's holding it steady while I use a bit of alu, alu fluid and a hand tap, well it's a machine tap but I'm hand tapping the holes out to uh, M10. So right, we've got the adapter there in the collet holder, goes down into the bearing, we've got a mounting plate screwed down to the rotary table and we've used two fuck off straps, I've put four studs in but um, two should do it, I can't really get anything spectacular on the other two anyway so I can't see that fucker going anywhere. So we're all set up, I've worked out <coughs> the offset that I need to start machining to this edge and uh, ready to go. Quick break now for a shop cooked breakfast. We've got the old uh, bacon and egg sausage, black pudding, or blood sausage. Fresh ground black coffee on the go. And we'll have a minute before we press so it. So that's the wheel done. We've turned that up down. We've dropped this down, then we've got a little step down to this face. So we're going to duplicate that in the uh, disc carrier. Now, because I'm struggling to hold these diameters in my lathe, we're carrying on with a mill. Uh, and what I've got, I've got a pointer, a little pointer that will find this centre dot and that's accurate enough to make a start. Then we can drill it out and then we'll use a boring head to take it out to 15.5 millimetres. Sorry, 55.5, fuck me, millimetres. Um, 25 mil is the biggest drill I've got, so we'll run with that and then we'll go with the... Uh, We'll go with the boring head, so that's this morning's jolly. Make that old 55 and a half mil and it'll sit over the wheel. Then hopefully we can hold it in the three jaw and machine the rest of it. there now we've changed the tool in and moved it to the outside uh, tool position on the boring head to get the distance we need from centre to uh, to bore this out I'm just taking light cuts now because I'm nearly there so let's see what we've got <coughs> excuse me this fucking shit Bring it out nasty, horrible swarfy. So ignore the wireless in the background. Hopefully the copyright people won't pick up on it. 55.25, so we need another 0.25. So we're pretty much bob on. 0.6 of a mil may be oversized, but we can live with that. I'm going to see now if that size will fit in my three-jaw chuck. Let's go and have a look. Oh yeah, easily. Easily fit in there. We can go right down to smaller than that, to 35 maybe. So I'll get this mounted back in the, uh, on the old lathe. I wonder if it'll fit in the four jaw. I'll have a look, see if it'll fit in the four jaw. Um, either way, we can, now we can finish with the milling machine for a bit. Yeah, and we can get it over into the lathe. So we've got it mounted up in the three jaw internally. Oh, uh, missus. Uh, one fit in the four jaw, I've just touched on and I'm going to skim the outside, I'm going to face this off, I'm going to clean this up and I'm going to take this down to 160 on the outer so I'll have something a bit more manageable to work with. Um, a bit boring to watch really. I'm just going to run some nice gentle cuts because it's quite big for this uh, lathe. 
there's, there's a lot of shit fucking flying around, so I don't want to manage it until we get it down to a more manageable size. So I'll get this down to that size and I'll see you then. Friends, so we've got that cleaned up. Okay, it's out of the way. And now, what we need to do is cut this center hole to the same profile as the wheel. The profile that we've just formed on the milling machine in the wheel, this is going to sit over the top of it. So, I've taken some rudimentary measurements and I know I need to go in 7.6 millimeters. I've got it written on the fucking bench, I need to put on a bit of paper. And it needs to come out to a hundred and something. Um, so I know that we are now sitting comfortably at 56 mil with that clean up pass. 56.22 thereabouts. Um, so we'll get this machined out. Then we'll do the next step down. And then we'll look at flipping it around. Um, a machine in the front face away then we can put the holes in for the disc and then we can do some cutouts on the rotary table and make it a bit lighter and a bit more user friendly so we've got that roughed out I'm just going to take a final pass to get it to size and clean up this face. Slow the machine down a little bit because we're getting into a larger diameter and we're going to go back down to 7 ish. Yeah. And then we'll put this up into the middle. Now instead it we'll go to our 7.6. 7.6 on the DRO, 7.5 motherfucker, 5 and a bit, 6, 7.6 and we'll steadily have him wound out once. probably, use the power feed. Work smart and not harder. And that should absolutely get us where we need to be on this first cut. That'll drop over the wheel, that actually fits right over the hook. Um, and we'll take the next step in, which goes where the disc does mount, if you like. That gives us the shelf for the disc. And then we've got the bearing support left on the side, uh, on the diameter that's already there. So I can touch off there and bring it in a little bit more. There we go, it's all good. Okay, next one, next step is 61.5 diameter, but it's only 2.5 millimeters deep. So we'll touch on zero the DRO. And then we'll go two and a half millimeters deep, which is there. I just want to make sure. Oh, we're all clear of the, of the jaws. Yeah, no worries. So we know we want to go two and a half millimeters deep. So we'll, we'll just take um, a little pass. Just take the skim off to two and a half millimeters deep. One and a half, two point five, and then we'll measure that and machine it out to the right size. So that should be about right. That's whatever we said, sixty-one point five. We've got sixty-one point five one. Sixty-one point. Come on, motherfucker. Need to clean that edge up. 61 point. Give it a quick skim. Give it a quick spring pass, although not fucking springing anywhere, is it? Okay, 
down to a two and a half. Put that face off. 61.5. This will then drop on the wheel. It's not that, is it? 61.5. Right, so we've got the two steps to mount it on the wheel. Just need to break that edge. Um, we also know that this, the remaining section, only needs to be nine millimeters deep. And at the minute, it's fucking a lot more than that. It's like, can't measure it properly looking at this. It's 13, so we might be able to take four mil off. The uh, total size of this, that's up to 19 mil with all the steps. And at the minute, we're on 20, 25. So yeah, you could take six mil off. But I want to see where that six mil is. I might be able to take six mil off this and have it sitting further in or six mil off this to make it look prettier or I don't know so um, I'm going to offer it up to the wheel take it out obviously I've got to find my chuck key there we go I'll use this one here so we'll have this out <sighs> fucking hell still got some weight to it try it on the wheel and go from there alright so I'm not sure if you can see, but this is that extra that we're on about. It's fucking hell, it's such a look, tiny little bear. I don't think I'm going to pick up on it. That it's just cut off. There, look. Yeah, that's how good a fit it is. I can't do it with one hand. Um, it's on there. And it sits well. It sits nice on the inside. But just now I need to work out what I'm doing with this out of. Uh, I'm going to take this six mil off the old thing. I'm just wondering whether to drop it down a bit further on the wheel. Use this back edge. I'm going to offer the disc up to the surface that it's going to mount on. And I'm going to put the caliper on. Ooh, excuse your finger. And see how much gap I've got. I might even go and drop the wheel back in the forks to see I won't go back in until I take this face off so I'll take that face off and then uh, maybe offer it up and see what's what and we'll see if I take that face off I can't drop it through anymore can I? so yeah, fuck it, see what's going on so we've fitted that down, we've measured and checked and there's no more room to be had on the back face. We can't mount the disc and the caliper any further that way. So there's no point in dropping it using this uh, 5.8 millimeters we've got extra on this face. There's no point in using this to push everything 5.8 millimeters that way because it's going to fail the spokes. We're, we're just about where we want to be. So I'm just going to take that off this face and then uh, I think that's finished on the lathe. We know we need to do the mounting holes for the wheel, the mounting holes for the disc and look at some relief, whether we're going to slot it or cut outs or quite fucking what, don't know, don't know, we'll see eh? Either way, going to be cool as fuck, so let's just check that we're, uh, we're not reverse my feed, there it is. power the feed in. Yeah. So we'll take this 5.8 off. Just gonna touch off there. Make sure our DRO's on zero and go for this 5.8 put. So we'll do 20 thou at a time. Got this machine. Everything's on Kidora. <clears throat> and what I've done, I've used the lathe to give myself a line to work to for the holes, for the bolt holes to bolt it to the wheel, these jobbies, and for the disc holes. And I've simply measured across there to get the diameter of the, of the holes. And then uh, 
I came out from the center enough and in from the outside enough and that's that's not rocket science. The difficult fucking bit is dividing that then into five. Um, and there is a mathematical formula, but I like the Nick Collier method. If you see this, Nick, lots of love, thank you very much. Um, and all you do is you go to the holes and you guesstimate the centre, you try and work it out, get about right and your calipers. And then give yourself a mark for a start and then plot it round. And that's exactly what I've done. And you'll find that when you get back to the beginning, you'll either be a little bit over or a little bit under. And there's six holes here, sorry, five holes. So you kind of guess a fifth of that difference. If it looks in, in new money like a 10 mil gap, then move these 10, two mil. Yeah, try again. And within two or three goes, you'll have it pretty much fucking nailed. Now, because this is uh, soft aluminium, I'm able to then just use the point to give myself a little tiny little centre mark that I'll then make bigger before I drill it. Um, the main reason that I'm doing this this way, marking it out and then drilling it on the pillar drill that I'm pointing at and you can't see, is that it's too big for my rotary table. I've only got a little rotary table. Um, I'm seriously considering buying a, a bigger one, but they're expensive, so not sure. Um, and then obviously I'll do the same with the disc holes. Is, uh, I'll lay that on, have a guess, then I'll give myself a t an attempt at six, see what happens, and then I'll be able to put those on as well. So that's next on the agenda. So here we are with the pillar drill. Uh, I'm just going to go around and centre those. I don't like how that's fucking sitting. Centre drill is not the most central in the truck. I'm going to spot those a bit better. There we go, get them started. With a little bit of elbow grease. And a drop of cutting fluid. And then we'll drill them out to 3 8 clearance, which, in my metric world, equates to 10 millimeters. We'll get all those done. The uh, ones that hold the, the actually of the disc on, or the rotor, the roller. They're M6, so we can drill and tap those and show themselves I've worked out the centre. So I've got the, the radius diameter, I've got the diameter marked, as I explained. And uh, I just need to divide that circumference into six. Shouldn't be too difficult, so I'll get on anyway. See you in a minute. So now I'm just using the tap in function on me mini mill to tap those. Oh, the M6. Just blow that off. What this lets me do is it set it quite a slow speed, um, put a bit of lube on, and I can feed this machine tap in. and let it cut its thread and then once we get about through which is about there now I can reverse it and it'll work its way out obviously if the job was um, if it was a bigger tap, bigger thread or I was machining steel or something uh, not aluminium, not as soft as aluminium, then I clamp it down properly. But this is like uh, machine assisted hand tapping almost. And there we go. So, nice and easy, nice and, squ nice and square. Ready to take that disc. So, at the Atlas, I'm just machining uh, a bit of a relief 
on the inside where the disc goes I've marked off I've marked off where the disc sits and uh, I'm just machining some relief really to lighten lighten the uh, adapter and what I'll probably end up doing is taking it over to the milling machine and milling some slots between the mounting hours I think just to make it even lighter and just less of a chunk to be mounted on the wheel so I'm going to take some of this away uh, and then get over to the mill I think and just, just nibbling away at this nothing to it but I'll be a swore straight in the mouth then just want to really get some weight off it you know None of this is going to be seen. Just a few thou at a time. Okay, we've managed to mount it on the fixture plate, the ever-suffering fixture plate, on the rotary table, and we've marked off, oh it's not great is it, we've marked off where we want the slots to end, we're all set, I've run it round, it, everything's great, and I'm going to go 8mm deep, I think, let me just check, how much have I got here? I've got eight, it's going to leave four, which is about that, not sure, not sure, I might end up putting a smaller mill in, in fact I think I will, I'm going to change that mill bit, I don't. Okay sports fans, so we're going with a 12 mil ball nose, so it'll give a nice round bottom <laughs> to the slot, right? And I've pulled the job this way, 4 mil, because it was going to be too thin here, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. But we're going to go 8 mil deep, and I've marked off uh, either side of the threaded hole where the disc bolt's underneath to give myself an end for each slot. So, see what happens, eh? So we're going to start off... Whoa with a very fucking shaky uh, get some slack out of that yeah. there we go and we're going one turn in the handle that's two mil deep and we're just going to work our way around To those marks that I put on. It's a fun new bit, so I'm hoping all goes well. But we'll see. Okay, sports fan. So we're just finishing off a light pass. And what about air? So I've worked my way around all of the slots. And on the end, I'm going to drop this down. Jump the gap up. Ooh, ho, ho. I could put a bigger fucking handle on these things. I tell you. And then we're going to touch back down. Hey, wrong way. There's Mark coming up to zero. And just giving it a quick clean up as you go around. I think this is the last one. So. Oh, 
quick spring pass. Just to balance them all out. Sorted. Thank you.